what's going on guys it's your boy since there's a video here today bring guys a fun photoshop tutorial how to create your very own cool gradient mesh gradient highlight gradient something whatever the title says in the video because i don't know uh anyway so if you guys do not know i work for 100 thieves it's a or, uh, esport organization right so if you guys not oh previously we did this really cool grungy kind of style um now we kind of more base it on a typography clean approach and i absolutely love that as well but i can now show you guys how i did this because and now in the whole world is, I, I don't care that much anymore okay because i don't really do it anymore but in the past we just had this really cool grungy style where i would take the actual black and white pictures of individuals or make the entire picture black and white and that's very simple clean very cool highlight gradient to it um you can see this thank you graphic for eric here right it looks really cool it's on his actual sweater um over here were the actual pictures we created this entire theme for the uh, our co uh, excuse me our previous Call of Duty um, team's championship graphics being on this really cool yellow highlight very epic and dramatic looking it looks super super freaking cool that's what's going on over here right this picture here for the thank you Apex team that we used to have um, it just looks super sick right it just kind of adds a little bit of an element to it and lastly here is for the happy birthday graphics we used to have as well for Ava is on a shirt here just adds a little bit to it adds color and I just want to show you guys how to do it because it's super simple super easy super freaking clean and uh, yeah, like I said, I don't care anymore because I don't do it anymore, so I can show it to you guys. Um, yeah, anyway, so if I like on the video, you can see it down below, which almost like it'd be a cool little gradient pack for you guys to actually use and enjoy. And uh, with that being said, I, I did get a light. Uh, does, it look, does it look okay? Um, regardless, let's get this thing going. It should be a quick, easy tutorial, and let's do it. All right, guys, going this going right here right now. So what I ended up doing is I set up like a really cool little promotional image or just a little example for you guys, but we're really honestly just focusing on the actual image itself. So. For the image itself, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this picture black and white very easy, very simply, by going into where it says filter, car, uh, camera raw filter, or you can use a black and white gradient that also works, um, but just then merge the two layers together. But I just kinda like to do it in here because I have a little more control, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll this down really quickly, and I'll go to where it says saturation, and bring this all the way to the left hand side, negative 100, makes it black and white. Now right here, you can just see it's black and white, but it's a little bit too kind of like dull, a little bit too flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, clarity, and what clarity is, is almost like uh, combining your sharpen and contrast together. I'm just gonna take this, put it up to like 45 or so, you'll see it, it automatically gets more of a dramatic feel to it. Uh, I'm also gonna take my dehaze, which is also kind of like a, a, a contrast in a way. Um, I'm gonna just bring this up to about like, Whatever just basically looks good. Like 30 looks pretty good right now. You can see it's already looking more, a little more epic, a little more kind of like, once again, dramatic. And I'm gonna take my highlights here, bring this up a little bit, take my shadows, bring it a little bit further down, take my whites, bring this up as well. Just around so, just around here or so, just to get like very, very clear differences between your highlights and your shadows. And take your blacks, maybe you wanna drag it down a little bit as well, you can. And uh, yeah, once you guys are done with that, you can then press OK. Now, of course, um, these are very high quality pictures that I actually end up having. If you guys don't have the highest quality images, you can go into like details, sharpen, put your sharpen up as well. Um, I don't want to get too much because you can get that weird fuzziness going on here. Definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to keep it around whatever it kind of looks where it doesn't have that. 34 or, or so for me, it looks pretty good. You can see the LCS logo is a little more in focus from this one right here, right? I'm good to go now. I can press OK on my actual uh, my little screen here. And then we have a nice, simple, clean, black and white photo. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go make a simple little gradient map. Now with this gradient map here, I'm gonna drag this to my red one. Here we go. So the reason why I have basically uh, both reds on both my highlights and my shadows is because we're gonna be using a, 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 serv a service or a filter called color range. Now what that ends up doing is basically taking whatever colors, grayscale in this case, um, that we have and putting whatever color of our gradient on that. So what's gonna happen here, if you guys want only one color, make sure you guys both are your left and your right hand side are basically similar colors. Similar colors, I don't have them being the exact same because no reason at all, they can, be, they can literally just be both this, right? Red and like red. That could be that could be it as well. That's just perfectly fine. But if you do want two different colors, and if you guys do select a more of a mid gray, like we're right between where our highlights and shadows are, you will basically get a mix of those two colors together. Just so you guys know, keep that in mind. That's a different, more of a different kind of like feel you might have. But I'm gonna press OK. I just made it literally just the same as that color up here, red, right? Now what you're gonna end up, uh, end up doing is make sure you have your layer mask selected on your gradient, not this. The actual little white tab is which one to have selected, right? When then you want to go to where it says select color range, and then you want to make sure you want to do your drop down. Make sure you, of course, do have these sampled colors selected. And what you're gonna end up doing is when you click around your canvas, of course, different tones of whites and grays and blacks, you will get different looks everywhere you click. It's gonna it's gonna be different literally every single time. You might not find something you like. So if you do say, let's just say, if I click around here, you like this a lot, 
do not try to like move away and try to like find it again sometimes it's so freaking hard where you might not know it's just so just press ok make a duplicate of this actual gradient map by just pressing ctrl j on your keyboard hide the one below it and then you can just have that for the future for the next time but if you want to reset this gradient what you need to end up doing is change your actual uh make sure you change your foreground to white and then fill it back in so just change this to white fill it back in with just taking a brush and just almost hovering over it or if you want to you can press when you uh, when you do change your foreground to white you can press alt backspace it'll also quick fill that in and you're good to go um keep that in mind as well if you guys do use of course select masks a lot and you erase and fill in a lot um keep in mind your colors will change the gray sometimes and if you guys do know by default if you guys do have layer masks it does change it automatically to black and white but for some reason using color range does change it to gray just so you guys know keep that in mind and you're good to go but let's just say once you have that reset select color range just tr uh, click around again let's just say you like this a lot press ok but before i press ok there's also one thing to keep in mind and it's called the fuzziness now fuzziness is basically the range of color so if you guys do choose this color that i have selected right now whatever gray tone i do if i want more of that color selected or more of that range of color selected i can just take this and bring this up it'll select more of it now if you want less of it you can just of course bring this down and of course it will select less of it, it almost works almost like as a dissolve uh, if you guys know what that like kind of like uh, layer style is, um, it works like that a little bit. But I like to keep mine between the, uh, the numbers of 30 and 40. So for me, I'm just gonna put it on 38. That looks pretty good to me. Excuse me. Press OK. Now keep in mind as well, what you guys do is you change your foreground color to black, just like so, right? Take your brush, right? Make sure you select it on the actual uh, layer mask again. If I want to say like I want nothing around his head or or around his eyes, you basically just go ahead and kind of select it. And just erase all that color around wherever you don't want it let's say you don't want it in the background you can get rid of it all that good stuff so that's kind of how I, uh, how I make sure I don't have it around people's faces or if I do want it around their face or whatever or only on their shirts or on their hair only on their head that is basically how I end up doing it now when you guys do just you guys if you guys wanted to you guys could change this to white and like fill things back in but it will not fill in the same way because it is basically selecting everything and not how color range is selecting certain colors and uh, yeah that's kind of literally just it it's very fun to do. Let me just actually change it back to this one right here because this one looks pretty freaking cool. Now, one other thing I do like to end up doing is kind of like a little special thing, right? Is I like to use the levels, which is basically almost like doing once again a contrast kind of feel to it. So if I take this right, uh, this left, excuse me, uh, little node here, bring this towards the right hand side, then take the middle little node here and bring this towards the left hand side. You basically make your 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 darker's darker and your lights lighter. Um, just makes it look a, a little more cooler. If I turn it on and off. I don't know if you can tell on video, but it definitely makes it look a, a little bit more sharp of the, the, the difference between black and white and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I did it. We're done. It's a very quick tutorial, and I try to explain it as much as possible. You guys, of course, know what you guys are doing during your steps. Um, it's as literally as simple as making your color black and white uh, for your actual photo, taking a gradient map, selecting on the color mask, clicking on select color range, clicking a color, and you're good to go. It's very quick. It just makes things look a little more cooler just being black and white. And uh, if you guys want to use it, please be here and just, just freaking use it. Enjoy it. I can now show it because I no longer use it. So I'm good to go. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Since HQ out, then I can keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking ready, guys. Later. Much love. Of course, again, two seventy five likes on the video. Use a stick down below and I might just do just give you guys some gradients to work with and have fun with. And uh, yeah, if you guys have not subscribed already, please do so. I love you guys. Peace.